see it. I tweeted about it. Let me uh, let me see a sound off in the in the chat if you can see this, if you can hear this, if you know that this is happening. It's a Tuesday. I didn't have anything to do this afternoon, so I figured I would stream something. I was trying to think of what I could stream. I considered I considered streaming some Bloodborne. I thought about streaming some Fighters, maybe some Risk of Rain. But I feel like that's like, uh, other than Bloodborne, the, those other two, I feel like that's like all I've streamed this past year, maybe. Uh, I know I've got some, probably some Sea of Thieves in there too. Uh, but it felt like it had been a long time since I'd really checked in with Civ. Uh, I didn't feel like continuing off of a file or anything. I just wanted to start something new, do a new fresh run, start with something, uh, start with a Civ, and just see where we go, see how it, see how it turns out. Uh, kind of just vamping, talking to myself while I wait for people to float into the chat like Rye Dragon saying hello, hi. Welcome to the stream. I'll probably be going until... Oh, uh, when's the TFS Monster Hunter stream tonight? Six? I'll probably go till then. And I'll bump you guys over there. But yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and start this. Since we'll only be going for a couple hours, let's see if we can start a file we might actually get close to ending. Uh, so what if we made... Online is like too fast. Like, I feel like it's fast to the point of detriment. Quick is what I like. I will also play on standard. Going on any of the longer ones, I can't even imagine doing. That seems like crazy people talk. Uh, Continents is like the only good maps as far as I'm concerned. Continents and Islands might work uh, with bigger maps. But since I tend to do... Uh, even small, I can't imagine clearing in two hours, but you know what? Fuck it. I, I said we were going for one that we could finish. Not really. Uh, and do... Should I pick the leader or just go with random? What do you guys think? Also, hi, Lucas Mon. Well, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Because there's a lot of leaders to choose from. And I feel like I've at least played as most of them. Always random. I agree with that, Rogue Guy. I, li I like your style. Also, how do you Sith Joker? Are you like a Joker who's a Sith? Like a Sith-like Joker? Or is it just... Does this have nothing to do with the Force? You're just a Joker. Alright, yeah, let's go random. I like that. Bop. Show me what you got, Sith. Who am I gonna be? Whoever they are will kind of decide what victories we're looking for. Yo, Duck Riden and Yuri Rain. Thank you both for the subs. From the first stirrings of Australia again. I feel like this was like my first Civ stream. Civ. It's a it's a whole it's a full circle thing. We did it. We've come back around. You have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. Since you play Civ, do you play Anno 1800? Uh, this is like the only. What are these called? Like 4X games. Uh, this is like the only game like this that I think I play. I've messed... I've messed with Stellaris. And... I feel like there was another game kind of like this that I might have touched. I played the other one they did, the Beyond Earth thing. And I played Civ V. That's the only other Civ I've played. Turducken... Dorf, you're right, or Tuckendorf. Wow, I threw the Turducken in there. Tuckendorf, you're correct. This is a grant stream. You are lucky. Count your blessings. Begin that game. Ooh, right on the sea. You love to see it. Boom. Let's found this city and remove those woods. I don't care. Deforestation. All right. Got that sailing boost. Let's see what we're working with. Uh, I always instinctively go for pottery just so I can start getting uh, granaries. So I can grow my base city fast. And get them scouts so you can see what's around you. Get all those uh, villages. 
Exactly, Dark Phantom. Blimey. Or, or Australia. That's them, right? G'day. Here in the old Outback. My favorite thing, uh, as someone who has the most boring accent in the world, the Midwestern American, uh, the thing I like about the Australian accent, and I feel like it's tough to do this if you don't naturally have this accent, but they kind of like slip sort of like a Y sound into words. Like, they go like, nya. Like, I don't know how to, like, that sounds terrible, I'm sure, to anyone who actually has that beautiful accent, but like, you love to slip a little bit of yeah in words, and I really like it. And it probably just sounds insulting when I try to mimic it. But I, I assure you it's a compliment. Uh, all right, let's get my scouts looking around there. And even though we've got a smallish map, let's get a second scout running. Totojoa, thank you for the bits. Saying first time dropping bits. Hope you're staying safe in these spooky times. I am. Thank you. I've been, uh, as my probably gross looking hair might show, I have not left my apartment for much, and I've uh, become the goblin I've always known I was. We're gonna lose this fight a little bit, but that's all right. Australia's strength is not in how hard she punches, but in how hard she punches back. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's see if we are around horses. Uh, emergency lights. Loved the Final Fantasy playthrough and is looking forward to a continuation. Yes! Uh, I've recorded some more episodes, but since I'm editing them myself now and stuff like that and kind of doing all the splitting on my own, uh, I'm going to estimate that the first episode of that coming to my channel will probably be... I'd say at the latest, so it'll probably come before this, uh, but at the latest, probably next Monday. But my guess would probably be closer to Thursday, Friday, if I can actually schedule my time right. Okay, we're getting a little uh, ganged up on over here, so maybe we we flee to the north for a second. Tell me there's a... What are they called? Encampment? Nope. And they're, that's not what they're called. Are they just villages? Dang, that's a great floodplain area, says uh, Norse Maestro. Or Norse Mastro. Nor Norca Mastro. Norca Mastero. You got a fun name. Thanks. I glad you, I'm glad you like my floodplain. All right, let's, uh, let's see what's immediately around us down here. Hmm. I always want to gun for a second city, like, right away. But I feel like that's a silly thing to do without the ability to regrow your population fast-ish. Is that dumb of me? Dark Phantom with a thousand bits. Thank you very much. Saying, take the bits. Also, topical question. Personal favorite civilization to play as? Ooh. That's a good question. Uh, I really liked uh, in Civ Five. Was it Poundmaker? Uh, it was whoever, like, the, the one of the Native American tribes who they're... There, there's anytime they started a city, their cities started with like a couple extra hexes or something, and I thought that was really cool. Um, in this game, I really haven't got a favorite. I've bounced around so much, I never really got a main. Uh, I played what civ was it? It was one of the Middle Eastern civs, uh, but they had a lot of good stuff with trade and desert tiles, and I thought that was a fun combination. Uh, and and their religious stuff also worked with it really well. Uh, dur dur, thank you for the sub. Mm -hmm. We can see what's up here. Hey, Jayav Arman seventh, the Khmer. I think this guy's a religious dude, and uh, I don't know if he uses his he pivots his religion into force or to food and friends, but we'll play nice for now. Alright, we got our granary. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that cellar. 
best, man is the noblest of all animals. Thanks, man. Uh, we will... I'm going to want that trade route first. So even if we don't get that boost, we should start working towards that. I usually don't like going for things if I don't think I'm going to get a boost for them before I get them. Uh, okay. I usually like to play with religion, so let's go a little different this time. Let's, like, we can make a religion. I won't stop it from happening, but I don't think I'm going to go out of my way for it. I want to focus on other things this game. All right, we're stronger against barbarians now, so maybe these guys will be stupid enough to try and cross that river to get me. I want to get this immediate area figured out first before we stretch too far. Haha, -ha, fools, the river probably made it difficult for you to fight. Hey, we picked up the thing. And they got a bunch of experience for it. That's that's pretty good. Keep healing. We're going to come back for that uh, camp later. Oh, they've got more friends. Probably because they know where my city is, so they're producing really fast. I'm fond of pigs. But that's all right. That just gives us upgrades. I'm fond of pigs, too, Sean Bean. That's not really true. I think pigs smell kind of bad. Sorry, pig lovers out there. Let's... Oh, we do have quite a bit of woods around us. It would probably be worth it to learn how to do that, but I would really like to also fish. Let's fish first. Alright, you can upgrade, so I'm only going to move you once, and it looks like there's some hills coming up, so let's let you slip on through those. Can this guy act? No, because he took his upgrade, that's right. And now he's going to hit super hard. Yosemite Valley to me is always a sunrise. Ooh, is this like near us? A golden wonder in a vast edifice of stone and Cuz we're going to we're going to steal uh everyone's favorite Australian landmark Yosemite. Oh, it's in Nazca. I don't like fighting city states. Are we going to have to kill a city state for Yosemite? Uh, bu 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 Yo, Grant, I've been racing Link to the Past Randomizer a lot re recently, and I've won six out of eight races. Congrats! That sounds fun. Uh, Gyarados, this is only whatever the standard difficulty is. Prince, I think. I'm not a great civist. Uh, let's go north. Aha! A trick. Man, do we have... Okay, we don't have any money to buy stuff, so we'll give that time. Ooh. All right, what do we do? What's what's the strategic play here, chat? Do we guarantee kill a unit, but then we get attacked by a unit we can't, like... You know, what's the word? Uh, the the ret... Uh, re... Uh, oh. I can't believe I'm blanking on the word, but we can't hit him back. Uh, until our next turn. So we either definitely eat two hits while at least dealing some damage to one unit so it does less. Retaliate. Thank you, Vermilion. Uh, so we uh, destroy, destroy a unit and only get hit once by a full power unit or hurt this so it's not hitting us with its full damage, but we get hit twice. Wimpy, I'm probably not going to play the original Final Fantasy VII after the remake. I don't want to play the original until all the parts of the remake are out. So the soonest I'll be playing that will be like 20 years. Thanks, Panda Smasher. I'm doing okay. Go for the kill. Reduce their uh, numbers unless it has an upgrade that stops range attacks. All right, then let's go ahead and kill that thing. Oh, and then another ranged boy appears in his shadow. And it didn't even kill him. What? The th Our estimations were all wrong. Oh, this has turned sour. You just keep traveling away from this mess, Scout. You don't need to see this. Uh. Our delegation brings a ping! A fried fish! A fried dish! 
Oh, a ping. A fried dish. Gotcha. Or a ping, however you say it. Best to eat the legs before you consume the rest of the tarantula. Disgusting. Your delegations are welcome. Oh, I don't like this. There's no way that guy wins, though, right? Okay. Ha! All right. If we run up here, they can't hit us. Honestly, I would rather my scout get that village than my warrior, because he's, one, maybe not going to last very long, and two, doesn't get XP for it. And we can't afford another warrior right now, can we? Nope. We could afford a slinger, though, and start making our way towards some ranged fights. And then he would travel with our settler next turn. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. It gives our settler some layer, layer of protection. Oh, it's you! Cleopatra. Mm -hmm. It's an honor to meet you. I'd love to sample your hospitality. Get away from me. Where was... Oh, did she take the village we discovered? I think she did. Dang her. Alright, you two are locked. What's a good city location? I don't know if I want to expand that way as much as I want to expand this way. Let's go for that river. Get ourselves closer to this barbarian menace who's harassing us. Ooh, walked right past a village. Like a pro. Uh, and hey, let's start actually making some culture. Second Cerberus hates being near Cleo, is she mean? It is not that life ashore is distasteful to me, but life at sea is better. Thanks, Sir France. Sis. Drake. Oh, what? Oh, nope. Oh, up. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's some Barbie boys up here, too. Give us that faith, even though, like I said, I don't think we're really going to be running with that this game. Let's learn how to write. Already founding a pantheon. Maybe the game is leading me towards religion after all. I don't get too close to that camp. Uh, what's something that will help us in the short run? Let's see. Not really around a ton of desert. What are we looking at here? We might get some quarries. There's some rock there. Any spices? Okay. Uh, Grant, I can't remember. Did you beat that Ancestor game or just stop playing it? I stopped playing it because eventually the loop got really repetitive. Uh, I was hoping... I was hoping you would progress more through the stages of humanity, but I kind of had already gotten, like, it didn't seem like you really advanced too much beyond where I was, other than, like, getting some better tool use. I was wanting, like, start tribes, build an army kind of stuff, but it doesn't seem like it really ever gets there. You can only have, like, eight, I want to say eight full-grown apes in your civilization thing in there. Uh, when chosen, receive a builder in your capital. Hey, it'd be nice to just get a free builder. I like that, actually. Let's do that. Alright, you're on your way there. You can't move anymore. It's okay. That's a turn. That's some more, eh? Is this where I wanted you to be? I'm gonna say yes. Wham. Another city. Sydney. Oh, two guys? I didn't. That's not the math I accounted for. Just have to have a large standing army to keep her happy, and she gets jealous if you get a golden era. Got it. One of those sieves. Uh, uh, let's see. We've already got a guy up in this direction, right? So let's go this way. Let's explore this side of the map. Oh, you go this way. Hey, looky there. 
Oh boy, she is not far from me at all. We're sharing a river here. So we should probably start expanding in this direction just to keep her less upset. We could probably come down here. We What we ought to do... Okay. The big brain long-term plan is to make sure we cut off access to her to this ocean. If we keep her from getting that, we'll have a pretty good hold on her. Uh, as he played the Warhammer twuff stuff, uh, I moved to that from Civ. I like the emphasis on combat more than city building. I haven't messed with that. But I think one of my favorite things about Civ is how I have the option to try and do this passive fist leap. Uh, and even if I don't super often take it. Let's kill a unit with a sling so we get a boost. Yeah. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Alright, I don't think we have whatever it takes to get spices yet. Is that... That's probably plantations or whatever. Let's get this little bit down here. You keep going this way. Ooh, okay, so this is like the southern part, like the southern tip of the map. So we're so we're near the south. Okay. Never discovered a second continent, but whatever. Total war. Thank you. Gudrun for Oh no! Our scout! Oh, that wasn't our scout. That was their scout. Whatever. That's the Take positive it. aspect of trade, I suppose. The world. Mm -mm. I guess let's build a farm. What's down here? Yeah. Some copper. We'll be doing that soon. Can I? Okay, yeah. The other day, I was having... You might see me scroll with, like, clicking and dragging. I normally don't do that, but the other day I was playing this, and for some reason my borders were not letting me move, and it was real annoying. And I didn't change any sort of settings. I didn't press anything in the options, so I don't know why I did it. Culture victory is my favorite to go for in this game with just dropping nukes on countries that don't appreciate my artistic sensibilities. Yeah. Uh, I feel like... Uh, and I feel like I could say this with a layer of confidence because I've done it. Uh, I feel like religion is by far the easiest victory in this game. Uh, like, it can get frustrating when you have other civilizations that fight you on it. But I feel like that's definitely far and away the easiest thing to just kind of slip under the radar with, even against AI. Uh, meanwhile, domination just seems like it takes forever. And as fun as it is to take over the world, it is just a slow process. Uh, uh, I really want to get those spices. I'm pretty sure... Those need plantations. Because I don't think you mine spices. So you can just hang out for a second. We have... Okay, we have a... They'll be coming from the south, so we can deal with that. You should probably actually start heading this way. And you can just heal in town. I don't want to send you out. I want you to just defend the town you're in. You keep moving this way. Good. It looks like the uh, barbarians are harassing Cleopatra. So she can put up with them while not worrying about me. Let's go ahead and build that granary. I thought we did that already, but oops. There's a Bobby on our borders. Ooh, there's an encampment up there now. I don't think I noticed that before. We need to get more warriors. I want you to wait, because I want that. 
Uh, it's pretty clear that this is just the end of the land because this uh, rock formation is telling me that that's just going to be water. And it looks like this beach ends here, so I'm not going to bother looking down here right now. Oh, well, at least it's about done. Oh, yes, they've just opened the path for me. Please don't spawn another barbarian in there. Ooh, perfect. Hold on. Before I forget to do that. Let's go ahead and just boop, free 50 gold. Thanks. Thanks for all your hard work, Nazca. Uh, I mean, more than likely down here is where Egypt is already forming, so I guess we could be exploring the new areas. And find more barbarians, great. And boom. Oh, that's right, we were still moving you. Let's get you down here, and then get you healing. Things will come and attack us, but you can deal with that while you're building yourself back up. And you stay on guard, too. And you bait out a barbarian. Okay, not a whole lot this way. Oh, hi. Oh, please let me stop this move. This is why you move your things one one space at a time. Oh, hey, thanks. I am obviously one of the people worth being interested in. I take that as a compliment. Ah! Leave me alone. I'm just a scout. We flee to the north. Oh, God, no. It happened again. Oh, oh, never mind. Plantations aren't done yet. This is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, we're what, how many turns in? 26? Not going well, IMO. Uh, uh, I want to get some borders established. Let's help Sydney speed up first. Our dogs are just barking at each other. Oh, this is bad news. Bad news for Terry the Scout. Oh man, we got another Scout over there just making their way towards us. Boom! Attack me again if you dare! And I will come over here and strike you! Whoa! Tuckendorf with the 10,000! Saying, I dropped bits on the main channel to pay for the $100 bet you made well, a while back in Final Fantasy VII. Now the playthrough is moving your channel, it seems uh, only fair that you personally should benefit from the bet. Thank you so much! I'm trying to remember what bet that was, but thanks! Uh, that, that means a lot to me. Uh, and I don't know if you were... Uh, Tuckendorf, I'm pretty sure you, you've been here most of the stream, but... Uh, my my hopes are to get episodes of that coming out by by Monday at the very latest. But thank you once again. Uh, Grant, I've heard a rumor that you are both handsome and smart. Can you confirm? Uh, I have no no say on the matter. Nothing nothing to add to the rumors. Believe what you want. Please don't kill my guy. All right, we're good. Please don't kill my guy. We're not good. Man, that's the guy who had the upgrade, too. Uh-oh. This guy's coming to play. There's no way for me to hit him with both, is there? Because this will end my turn going here. Oh, well. You know what? We'll survive one attack from a Spearman if we can't attack after this. We can't attack after this. Crap.
Hey, boom. Now we got them spices. Now Canberra is happy. All right. Can we afford, a, afford another warrior yet? We can. Oh, oh, where do you think you're going, buddy? Let's see, if he's dead, can I? I still don't think I'll be able to get there in one turn. So let's just bop him. Honey Bazzer, thank you for the sub. Andrew asking, what exactly are civilization games? I've never played one. Uh, they are games where you build a civilization, as the name might imply. Uh, you just sort of take turns building up resources and using those resources to extend your city or your military or maybe your religion or your science. Uh, and you just compete with other civilizations doing the same thing. It's basically just a di uh, like a digital board game. Yeah. Uh, Honey Bazaar also saying, Hi, you are an inspira inspir insp inspiration and a cool dude. Hope we are cool. We are, Honey Bazaar. You, you're, you're quite cool. Look back over the past with its changing empires. Uh-huh. Oh, you, you want, you want this, don't you? A-boom! Now I stand in your way. Heal you back up. Ooh, I wanted to send this to Sydney to help Sydney build faster, but Nazca wants a road specifically and will give us some accolades for it. So you know what? Take him. You're a religious city-state. I feel like everything's pointing me to maybe do religion in this game. Also, hold on. What's uh, what's John Curtin stuff? What are we good with? What do we got? The la uh, Citadel of Civilization. 100% production if they have either received a declaration of war or liberated a city. Okay, so if we are attacked, we... So as long as we don't start a fight, we benefit from it. Uh, three housing on coastal cities. Hey, so Canberra and stuff like that. Pastures trigger a culture bomb yields from campuses uh commercial hubs and holy sites and theater squares are plus one in tiles with charming appeal and plus three in breathtaking okay so if we've got nicely located cities all of our uh what do you call them those things places uh, uh, boy my words today are terrible uh you know what I'm talking about, though. The, the library place and the holy site places and the commercial places. I'm blanking on words. Uh, okay, and then our unique things. Uh, unlock builder ability to construct an outback station. Which just adds some food and production. An additional for pastures. Additional for food. Uh, okay, gotcha. But anyways, we're, we're all about uh, not starting the fight, but finishing it. Which I'm okay with. That's a that's a fun role to have. Slash, I'm I'm not really uh, settled on a win condition yet. I'm gonna let the game kind of lead me there. But I don't. I kind of don't want to do religion again, just because I feel like that's all I ever win with. Flanking support would be nice. Districts. That's that's the words I'm looking for. District. All right, we will be people of science. And I feel like someone at some point said that this guy is like the best dude to start with always. Because he gives you a ton of production when you get rid of forests. And he can make making scouts not cost you people. Which are all nice. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. I'm worried that this scout guy might be able to kill my warrior after this, but you know what? 
We'll take that chance. While you, I want you to get to those nasty barbarians. Whew. Eliminate him. Do these things just add science to the board? I've never really... I don't think I've found any sort of structure that goes on top of them, and I don't think workers or builders can do anything to them. So are they just there to provide a science bonus? That seems like all they really do. You just automate exploration now. We need to replace that one scout that died. But you should probably keep building first. And how much are builders... Too much. But not by much. We'll have enough for the next turn. Bravery. Oh, that's a lot of barbarians. Where'd you guys come from? There must be an encampment, like, right there. That's not good. Cleopatra's going to want us to have a big standing army. We might just be doing that out of principle. build geothermal power plants on them. Gotcha. Oh, man. Did our warrior get ganged up on? Oh, no. Okay. This is bad, fellas. Alright, we need to start making a beeline towards this town instead, then, because this guy's going to kill us. Okay, we gotta... Something's not going right here. We gotta... Get some more boys on the field. Whew, okay, I thought that was us losing a unit. Uh, okay, I guess you head back this way. Please don't get shot by this dude. Yeah, fuck that trade route from uh, Egypt. All right, can I come in here and then upgrade? No. Shoot. Let's take the road you built. Do that. And... Uh, I'd like to start getting to work on a third city, like up here. Despite all the dangers we've been getting in. Oh, there's a lot of stuff I wish I had had the money to do. Here, you know what? We'll start building an archer and we will buy just another warrior. And hey, we're getting a bonus in all those shrines we don't have. All right, let's hope for the best. Don't die, nobody. Hey, they're leaving. Wealth Chasing after that trade route, I assume. Great. Boom. <laughs> Just probably learn how to mine. <laughs> Might be helpful. Get up there, you can start healing. Then I feel like we got a decently sized standing army for, for some stuff. Oh no, a flood! Fortunately, we don't have anything built there yet. When you find yourself in a hole, keep digging. There we 
go. No, who's getting shooted at? These guys. Ah! A tornado! And it killed two of our people! A strong economy begins F that noise. Alright, let's see. You go this way. You go here. You protect yourself in here so you don't take direct direct damage from stuff, I hope. Like a tornado in the area. Let's hopefully kill this unit. Alright, there's one less thing to worry about. You owe me, Egypt. Mm. Need another city soon. And hey, you know what? Boom. Now settlers don't cost us anything in this town. Oh, hi. I don't see like any villages to get around here. Seems like you've got something going on with this guy though, and I don't want to interrupt that. Take that, and hey, it'd be cool if you let me go through your land. What do you want? Wow! A bit pricey. But hey, I don't I'm not gonna complain right now. Also, is that her only city? Are we already outnumbering our cities? Because that's pretty good. That's a good start. Uh Grant, what games are you looking forward to coming out in the near or far future of twenty twenty? Well, I haven't heard anything about Tales of Arise in Forever or Elden Ring. Those are probably at current, the only two games in my mind that I think about as far as, like, future games that are coming. Um, I'm looking forward to the Mortal Kombat DLC. That Aftermath stuff looks cool. Um, Fighters is getting some stuff, it looks like. Like, originally it was just sounded like Ultra Instinct Goku, but it looks like there's going to be kind of a real patch with all that stuff that might add some some neat things. I'm personally hoping for alt costumes, but you know, I held my breath for that before and didn't get it. Uh, we'll be making a settler over here soon, so let's have an escort ready to go. Can I kill that guy? Please, oh please, yeah. Not a golden age, unfortunately. Uh, this is probably going to be the era where I'm going to be making a lot of districts, so let's get that. Cyberpunk is probably going to be a cool game, but it's just not a genre I really ever play. So, like, it'll probably be neat, but... I won't be checking it out until it's likely deep on sale or something, or if we do something for it on the channel that I'm a part of. But I think we already talked about that, and I think that would probably be Nick and Scott, because I think they're both very actively interested in it. Uh, I feel like nothing's going to happen with this desert, desert spot, but we're not getting any bonus from it. So, oof, I don't like that this whole... Probably should have looked at that before I settled this city. I really don't like that this whole <laughs> river is going to flood. Going to check out the new Remnant stuff. Have they added stuff? I, I haven't been paying attention. That game was fun, but I haven't really played it in a while. Uh, I think... Nah, between commercial and science right now, I think I'd rather get the commercial one. We have that barbarian camp that's up here. Or at least we did. Did someone else take it out? Ah, oh, they might have killed it. Ooh, and that does build us towards them. We should probably get at least this river. So we can cut them off here. And then have a pretty solid amount of space with this whole area being ours. And we could probably just kind of make a straight line down here and cut this off from Egypt. We're not going to let them take this. 
Yeah, okay, our next... We might start some fights with Egypt, but our next town maybe should be here. Just to block off this whole chunk to be us. And Nazca for now. <clears throat> uh, they have new new DLC for uh, courses in survivor mode. Okay. Uh, neat. Let's... Yeah, I guess... Do some recon up here. Just hang out. You come over here, maybe heal inside Egypt, just in case. Uh, we need another scout. How much money do we have? Not enough for another scout yet. You hang out there, though. They want my political favor. I feel like this stuff is, like, the most valuable resource. Because character, like, the NPCs are always wanting to throw stuff at you for it. Because I think these are basically victory points at the end. Maybe? Uh, I don't think so. Not that important early game. Ooh, Memphis. Bronze Starting to build towards me, are we? The and we definitely need to start probably putting stuff here just to keep her from moving that way. Get her real mad. Don't mind me. Just using your walls to heal. Yeah, we're all just kind of holding our spot. I want to make sure I can see if you start sending a settler out this way. Ooh, and there's iron there. Yeah, we definitely need to start cutting this off so we can start building started. swords. Right, you're fully healed now, so you can do some more reconning. Oh, wait, you're supposed to stay there so you can shoot. You go back there. I want to hook you to the settler when he comes out. Get those wheels. Big ol' flood. I see. Oh, nah. oh, she doesn't like my people being. We're traps. We're just passing by. You're the one whose city is so close to mine. What do you expect? Uh, let's get. You know what? Mm, do I want another settler? Let's start doing that because we can buy just about anything else we would want there. We just need money, which we'll be getting this commercial hub. And that'll get us the money we want. Oh, come on. I want to go up there and I want to see if there's, like, barbarians in that little gap. Regroup! Alright, and I want to build... Yeah, we should probably book it down here, TBH. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Nice and close. But you'll come up here and just see what's going on. So you can eventually expand up there. And then we'll have like that whole area. Just a big old slash across the continent. And that's where our property begins. More workers would probably be good. Man, I could have a little bit more of everything, TBH. Oh! Barbie! Yeah, exactly, Slash. You, you like that plan. Um, alright. Let's... Get this out of here. Got it. 
I want you to start coming from Sydney and going to Canberra. Canberra. Chambra. I knew it! I knew there had to be barbarians up here with how quickly they were coming from the north. I just want to make sure you guys aren't putting any settlers where I don't want them. Because there will be a fucking war if I see a settler come through these tiles here. Always start with oligarchy. Get that spread. Alright, uh, we want this, so we're always gaining envoys. Uh, and for our other one... do have the thing for settlers and that's what we're building so let's go ahead and do that so where were you going oh we've got a person there now well we'll get close to it and if they don't move okay <laughs> Sorry, Egypt. Although I guess you're getting better tiles and you didn't lose anybody. So, honestly, that was a pretty lucky thing for you. You stand here so no one can take it. It's not as much production and food I was hoping to get. But alright. We'll take it. Just to get us some faster access to our own towns. This is a very nicely placed barbarian camp because I can't, like, surround it. Alright, I want you looking up here. Laventa! So close this whole time. We never, we never thought to look for cities over there. You're no longer bound to him, so you can come over here. Oh, can come over. Are we out of moves? How? It's the start of the turn. Oh, maybe it's not. I thought our turn just started, but I guess we're at the end of it. There we go. Now you, come here. Make city. Bam. And just to be sure nobody slips by. Oh, we'll probably use this first. There. No coming, uh, hey. No breaking, no breaking the line here. Bam. What up, Tacitus? Thanks for joining. Uh, pretty good for Egypt. And earlier flood means they get better tiles without getting damage farms. Yeah. Hmm. We're going to need to start saving up for some workers and then some better buildings and stuff. All right, let's get you, like, over here. Man, so they're right there. They're already knocking on this river. Like, they're going to be here soon. So we should definitely send somebody up there to claim right, like, here-ish. So then we can say everything south of whatever we end up calling this mountain chain. It belongs to us. Sometimes the wheel turns slowly. But it... Cause yeah, this will this will just be a nice little yard for us to play with and build out of. And Nazca can be nestled within our civilization, so they're basically one of our cities. We'll be so close to them, people won't be able to become suzerains of them. Fun song. Oh, 
always like having just archers hanging out in city centers. Like just a nice line of defense right there to fire at anyone who might come at the city. Man, what I don't like though is they're also blocking me. <sighs> Maybe the real ace play is putting a city here so I have access to stuff that's on this side. Also, is that another foe over there? That looks like another civilization in this direction. It was! Matthias! The Hungarian king. Yo, what's up, uh, Axel Hazaki? Thanks for swinging by the stream. Boys are getting pretty close. Hopefully, Hungary and Egypt can deal with each other while I just build my strength in my little corner that they'll let me have without contesting. I want to try and get a city here, but I'm not going to push my luck on it. If they if they get real mad about it right out the gate, I will I'll stop my I'll stop my expansion in that direction. Cuz right now fighting with them isn't worth it. All right, yeah, let's even have a recommended spot for it. I know I said I was going to expand up in this direction, but I think... Uh, okay, one more city, I think. Then we'll, then we'll have our, uh, our major needs met, in my opinion. I just really don't want these guys expanding down here. I do not want them to take my side of the river. Using that scout or that warrior as a scout right now. Which, speaking of, I should build more of those too. Get some faster production in this town. You just keep defending this. You are also on defense. I just want to see what's okay. There's nothing else really land-wise there. Cleopatra seems to like me. Oh, I thought we were at the ocean already. Alright, just keep an eye out for settlers over here. Naysayer, yes, I am still planning on finishing Final Fantasy VII. Uh, it's just... Probably won't see another episode of it until, like, I would say at least Thursday or Friday. But that will be on my own YouTube channel, which is just YouTube slash MasterWGS. Uh, Doesn't have enough housing. Sydney. Well, it'll have housing soon. Bam! Get mad at me. I dare yous. Uh, okay. One last settler to throw up here. Like, on this river. And then it'll be annoying to try and build inside these mountains. So I can do that without worrying about any of the NPCs trying that. 
And now I've got this all blocked off. It's a real gutsy move to try and put a city with another country's cities between years. So I don't think the AI is going to try that. Unless they start getting real violent. So we just probably start building walls on these outer cities. Ooh. Hungary, there's a village so close to you. Oh, he's getting mad that I don't have faith. Sorry, man. We're a godless town here in Australia. But we love math and shipbuilding. Okay, yeah, you just keep your ever watchful eyes to the north. We have horses? When do we get horses? Uh, but you can't take them. I don't like building the tool, sending the tools of war to my enemies. I mean, neighbors. Ha ha ha. We're not enemies yet. Nor will we ever be. We'll always be friends. Me and, uh, Jayavman Seventh. Woo, another one. Man, the game I played the other night where I was, whatever the Middle Eastern Civ I was talking about earlier, uh, I was just so, so rich in that game that, like, it's confusing me now to be like, all right, let's just go ahead and buy... Oh, I don't have... My bank isn't full to the brim. I actually have to wait to afford things. But we'll be getting some, some trade units here soon, and that should probably stop being a problem. Hey, a free scout. That's something we were wanting. All right, most of our south has been figured out, but north is where we've still got a lot of unexplored territory. And this guy's going that way. So let's have this guy come up this way. And then once he bumps up here, actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and do this now. Here's a delegation. Seemed like a good dude. Hope you hate China. Or not China. Egypt. I want this. What would it take? You got it. Wham bam. No hour of life is wasted that is spent in the saddle. Oh yeah, we gotta pee all over the world, you're right. Being able to embark would be pretty nice. Nothing yet. We keep looking up there every turn. Sure. Ah, actually, what I should have done is sent him up there. I mean, you keep saying that. I have a hard time saying no to Gorgo's extra wildcard slot. That is pretty nice to have. Another so government a lot is, is a strong, strong thing to just get. Uh, okay. Our amenities are down. I never focus on those. And now that I think about it, religion's usually how I counter that. Oh, well. Jerusalem. Man, we are finding so many religious city-states. The game I... Announce I'm going to try to not do religion. Hey, we're just passing by. Here we go. Alright. I think if we send this guy... I mean, it suggests here... I 
was kind of hoping to get into those ocean tiles faster, though. But I feel like the game tends to know what it's talking about when it suggests stuff. We could also just be right there, <laughs> but we'd be so close to their cities. Uh, what do you what do you what do you think? Option option one, chat. Press one to go with the game suggestion. Press two with my gut instinct for right on the river in their face. Oof. Seeming almost a unanimous two. All right, then uh, then up here we go. Everybody wants me to get in trouble with, uh, who are these guys? The, the Khmer Empire. Is it, do I, do I pronounce the K? Is it Khmer? Is it Khmer? I don't know. Either way, people want us to make them mad. I'm probably not helping my case by not knowing how to say their name. Matthias' whole thing is he can, like, really levy city-states, right? Like, they, they're scared of him. They got some units. Absolute units, if you will. I hope he's not expanding his city just so I can't build here. That'd be really dumb. Let's start building a road to... What's up here? Is that Buddha? Sure. Although Laventa would just be happy... They're decently close, but eh, nah. We'll go to Buddha. Seems like a better place for a road, and it gets us a bit more stuff. I cannot imagine any condition with something about boats will this prevent food loss during drought no I want is it dams that stop floods I'm guessing since that's what they do in real life typically or at least something they help with better naval unit movement which I haven't built any boats yet that's probably something I should get on lumber mills that you stay there this guy's almost to you then we can build a road here and then just have a nice straight shot through this little gap ah yeah doing great wait hold on all right yeah you stay there you kill this guy uh-oh oddly it hey! The scar of we got a promotion. Please don't die. What are we looking at here? We have no amenities. None amenities. I never build entertainment complexes. They're always like the last place I start building. Because they don't give any like direct benefit just for existing, as far as I know. So let's go ahead and put you here. I should probably not be moving all my settlers around where these barbarians are clearly setting up shop.
listen to that. What is that? A didgeridoo? Is that the thing that makes the sound? Oh no! Leave my boy alone! Guys, you're archers. You should have shot. You weren't even hurt. Why are you defending? I only do one entertainment complex so I can try and grab the Coliseum Wonder. Mm. I do have the DLC that has natural disasters. We've just been luckily avoiding a lot of them. Here we go. Let's start a fight. You are not coming through this mountain pass. No siree. Uh, sure. Wobble, 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 wobble. Let's build you walls first. Very rare is that the first thing I build in a city, but you're getting too close to other towns. All right, you guys clearly got this uh, handled. I'm gonna come up here. Actually, no, you should stay here in case things get dirty over here. All right, let's slowly take Levento away from Jabaran or whatever. Oh, that one guy had a promotion. I'm a dumb dumb. I forgot. Thank you, Frankenstein's Gate, for the 27 month sub. Very much appreciated. Hope you enjoy the, the stream. Glory to whichever country we're repping this time. Australia. Uh, might have just gotten here. Uh, still happy to be sub, though. Thank you. Oh, these guys are Islamic. I see. Well, hey, man. You guys... See, here's kind of what I like about not having a religion is I don't have any sort of I don't I got no got no horse in this race. You can you can bring your religion to me, I will gladly accept it. I'm something for you guys. I'm a I'm a neutral ter territory for you guys to have religious fights over so I can keep benefiting from both your religions. Let's go over here. Mm. <laughs> uh, find a religion anyway, just so people don't get the religious win specifically to stop people like me who would steal the win. Sorry. It's just what I like to do. Uh, who am I building this for? Is this for Ho Hobart? You could probably have a wall. Yeah. Do we kill this guy? Likely... Revealing more units in that direction, or do we just keep our distance and explore? I'm gonna keep our distance and explore. Ah, of course, there's a unit up there. So my cowardice gets me. I should start building horse units with all these horses I have. 33 horses. What can a man need with so many horses? The four building blocks of the Stay away from me. Definitely want a city here to spread this out. Actually, I'd probably build it further in. Forward. Hey, 
Hey, no barbarians yet. Well, hi. So this is where you were all hiding. Well, we're about halfway through the stream. We've already got, I think, most of this continent like looked at, unless it really stretches over here. Well, that's neat. Do we have enough money for units yet? A builder? Where would we get the most out of a builder? Ooh. You would actually have a lot of things to upgrade. Honestly, so do you. We could start clearing out these forests, getting double production from them from this guy. But Canberra is already on a pretty good footing right now. We really should be improving these other cities to get them up to snuff. So how about we start Hobart? You might be in the most immediate danger right now. You seem like a good place for Egypt to try and attack. What up, comfy boy? I hope you are living true to your name. A oh, wham. One man's magic, if it's natural to kill. Mm, I don't like how many boys are here. I think the scout's dead. Play Japan for fast boat, uh, boat and technology. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Bye, Scout. Well, fortunately, we've seen a lot of this continent, so losing scouts in this stage isn't the worst. I wonder if these guys will give me a. Open borders. That's the word I'm looking for. About at our housing limit here. So let's throw it here. Bays of the Lovable. Uh, throwing that sub, saying, Hey Grant, I read my last bank statement and am proud to report I am now less than $100,000 in debt. Uh, celebrations are in order. Congrats. Less than 100 k That's a whole digit you took off. Way to go. This era ends in five turns and we are nowhere near a golden era. I don't think it's happening this time, fam. Mm -mm. Yeah, I guess let's get another resource in there. Sure. Plus three sounds nice. Even if we're getting rid of some marshlands to do it. Nope. Unit. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize that would take a whole turn. If I were again beginning my study. Yep. Uh. 
harbors would probably be a nice thing to have. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, go ahead. Tell these people all about your god. They'd love to hear about it. Just as much as they'd love to hear about those dirty Hungarians telling me about their Islam. Don't you hate that, you uh, Buddhists? building faster. Alright, what do you do? Gain 67 faith. Who cares? Gain, gain a free copy of the luxury resource to your capital city. Okay, that's something that we do want. What? Does anyone near us have a luxury that we can't get? Pearls are pretty far away, but we might get pearls. Uh... Not seeing. What's this? What kind of. It's not telling me what kind of resource it is. Just that it is a plantation. Oh well. Uh, if that's the case, then let's... I feel like the thing we're seeing the least are olives, I guess. So, let's go with that. What up, Divine Dragon? Uh, one, you make everything I watch on TFS more enter entertaining. Thank you for everything you bring. Thank you. It's real easy to not feel like that sometimes. So, thank you. Hey, they're still accepting our delegations. But would they give us open borders? For next to nothing, you got it. Out of moves, but whatever. <laughs> Sorry, guys. They like us now. Oh, a major drought. Sorry, guys. Right after you let us come through, the sun decides to make your towns look desolate. Oh, is there like a little valley in here with these mountains that none of us will ever be able to get to until like way late game? Can I build the pyramids? Yes, I can. Boom. Activate. Where did they add a new... I think it's that one. Now you just explore. You've got open rain now. We honestly didn't build that many... Uh, districts, so you know, maybe this is the time. What do you want? Units from the Chosen Promotion gain five combat strength. I want scouts to be stronger. Recon. Double points of great people of this class. We've already earned some great merchants, so send me some more of those. What do we got? Great generals, no thanks. But recon units get the boosts. That means my scout's a little sturdier against barbarians, which is all I wanted. Mm-hmm, great stuff. We could learn about gunpowder or finally figure out how swords work. Ooh, or we could get dams. Every Just about every city I have is on a flooding river, so let's go ahead and get those.
Harbor time. All right, let's. Does anyone just out of the gate help build the wonders? That's pretty good. Uh, I never really know how to go with these guys. Like, I want to put her on a place that's going to have both a commercial thing and a harbor, which right now is only my capital, but my capital still hasn't benefited from his thing. So... What if we just appoint this guy at... Sydney, even though I don't know if Sydney even has a library or a culture thing yet. But whatevs. Go in there. I should see what the benefits of Buddhism are. In real life. I just want to know what what these religion powers are. Is there a way to see that? Is there a way to check? Here we go. This one, maybe. Alright, so we're getting Buddhism. What do you give me? Shrines give us more food. That's alright. I can I can work with that. I can start building some shrines, getting free food out of it. Uh we can get we can build Watts with science. That's nice. And I don't really care about uh religious units ignoring movement things. Islam's pretty close to us also. What do they give us? World Wonders give more faith, and we can get production houses. Or meeting houses, you know. I don't even know if we know who founded Catholicism, but... Warrior monks and synagogues. Not great. All the religions have been founded. I cannot found a religion, by the way. Uh, Ooh... Taoism, that's all right. Being able to buy things with faith and more food. All right. So our goal is we should probably get some temples in just about every town. So no matter who shows up, we can build their extra building and benefit from all of them. And kind of encourage missionaries to swap the religions in places so we can get those different buildings. The AI love warrior monks, even though they never use them. Interesting. I just really don't want someone else to build the pyramids. Ooh, someone's at war. Cleopatra and Matthias. Okay. My northern neighbors. Well, I guess my western and northern neighbors are going to war with one another. Wow, Egypt does not have a lot of land to build with. Ooh, yeah, they're going to have to win some fights with Hungary if they want to get some space. Oh, Hungary started the war. Okay. Well, if any of them ask me for my support, they will get it. I'm going to try and be neutral until I got a, a fight. Look at them go. All right, I want you to go to Newcastle. So we can start building some roads there. Start building an encampment just in case things up north get a little messy for me. Wow. Uh. Egypt barely defended Abydos and said adios to Abydos. <laughs> uh, can we afford any fun units yet? Can get another warrior or another scout or some builders. You know, if we clear these forests out with this guy at the helm, that'll be nice. That'll get us a lot of boosts. Here, 
this first one we'll turn into this the lumber mill. So we have constant production being built. Build a monument so we can keep ourselves loyal. Defense is superior. Come with me, great science boy. What's your power? Rika, two random technologies and the inspiration for one random civic. That sounds nice. Is there... Okay. I feel like I only barely understand how the great people system works in this game. I know that you are building points towards different types of great people. Now, when you use them, they're gone, right? Like... I have the option to use this guy in any uh, science district, which right now I've only got one, so I have to use him here. But once I use him, he's gone. It's not like, this district can only hold so many people, so you need to choose carefully if you really want to use him here. Like, that's not a thing, right? I've played this game for like 400 hours, and I still only barely grasp a lot of its concepts. because Not because they're super complicated, I think, but just because... I know enough to kind of just get by and I never bother trying to learn more. Great people don't count for citizens. Okay, I think that was another thing I was curious about. Art and relics eat slots. Okay, I see. Yeah, okay, maybe that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'm thinking about the relics and uh, great works things. Because I feel like there's some sort of like, ooh, you don't want to put him there because uh, you don't have space. Uh, what, what is on your docket? How many people are in this city right now? Sydney is one of our more populated cities. So, yeah, if you're giving us more, what do we need more? We're getting, if you give us more culture, we're basically, then we're basically tied with our science output. So, go ahead. Boom. Now we should be getting more, right? Eight more? Hmm, maybe not yet. Ooh, they have Niter, and they want to come through our town. Probably to build. No, thank you. Your gunpowder sounds nice, but no. Hey, a harbor. Should live as little in cities as a painter. And we can now build dams. Damn, son. I need to get a soundboard if I'm going to be streaming from home more. I need to have that power at my disposal. It gets dangerous when you use it with a group, but to have something to just throw sounds at me, I should probably have that. I think this is one of my favorite songs on the soundtrack. Whatever this is. I know most of the music in this game is like real. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't want you going over there. We built you specifically so you get rid of forests for us. <laughs> Any... Let's see. What's some stuff that we could really work with? Science, I think, will just be more universally good for us. Oh, but it's going to make me get rid of a river just to build, or a forest just to build it. Where can these things go? That might be nice. Although I don't have the gold to put it here, which is where I would want to put it. Whatever, I guess we're just losing out on one forest, maybe. Yeah, I guess I could get rid of this farm. It's not adding that much, but it is already being worked by a citizen. Uh, here. Sorry, farm.
Oof, Robert the Bruce. Scotland, me forward. My first, I think, playthrough of this channel. I can't remember. I know I definitely did a long Scotland run, though. Honor to meet you, Scots. We should probably build some boats. I keep forgetting there's a whole ocean I have not looked at yet. Although I think our land units can embark these days. I don't want you guys to be strong. There. <laughs> right between all those cities who really are getting annoyed by us. Increase trade route capacity. Foreign trade routes to uh, this city provide two gold in both cities. All right. I feel like people tend to send their things to capitals. So let's go ahead and make that even more appealing. Divine Dragon saying they left me a gift and they hope they hope I like it. Thank thank you. Where 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 should I look for this gift? Watsing Matilda, is that the name of this song? Bam. That only took three turns off of the Great Library? I really thought that would do more. All I hear about is how this guy gives you such a boost to tearing down woods. Okay, for a second I thought they weren't our friends anymore and I was real confused. Oh, I probably could have finished the pyramids if I had gotten them over there. You know what? You're far away enough that I don't think me sending you horses is going to hurt me. From the height yes. of these pyramids, 40 centuries look down on us. More builders and more useful builders. <laughs> it is pretty fitting that Egypt's like pissed like, What? You made the pyramids? Don't you know what we're known for? That's like our thing. Oh man, both these guys want wonders. Sorry Everything guys. Everything has its limits. It's all papers and forms. Everything has its limits, all papers and forms. Uh, okay, well we're here now. Bust out those bagpipes. Get those rivers to stop flooding. Here we go. I love... When you get deeper in the game and you start having more builders to work with and you just start seeing your cities actually develop into stuff. That's so cool. These games are rad. Oh, wow. I forgot you were out here doing your thing. Okay, let's see if we can kill this barbarian, get this village, and not die to an archer. All right, cool. He's going to do that for us. Nice. And the archer didn't even come for us. Boom and boom. All that extra money. Is there a dam wonder like the Hoover Dam? I don't think so. Oh yeah, Private Sergeant saying there isn't. There's the Panama Canal though. Uh... Yeah, we'll be getting rid of a forest tile, but that's all right. 
Man, we've got a lot of trade route slots we're not using. We should fix that. And we, we cannot afford more. Buy anything with faith? What? We need temples for those. Ooh, Taoism coming in from the from the west. Any city states want us? Laventa wants us. going there yes fight for me you dumb religious units or fight fight each other for my entertainment -ha -ha -ha. Uh, you know I like having stuff not be around my city center even if they would help me so I think I'm just gonna get rid of this so I can have a this seems like a good spot for like a commercial thing or a Another district. Whew. No Taoism for long. JMAT, I haven't been streaming very often, but my schedule's starting to look like I'll be able to soon, so I might be streaming more often in the near future. This seems like a place I'd be able to put a farm. Oh well. I guess just explore as you desire, young scout. Wow, they really want to come through our town. I don't know if that's just they want better positioning. It's just I really don't want them to come through my town and start settling on the other side. But you know what? They they seem like they're in dire straits right now. They won't even be much of a threat if that is their plan. Because then they'd just be getting it from both sides if they came over here and tried to build something. Because I would immediately declare a war on them. Uh, let's keep building up our barracks over here. So if these guys decide they want to fight, we can fight back. Robbie, I don't want to fight anyone. I don't have to. But look, I am Australia. I will be the world police. And uh, I will fight if someone gets their city conquered. We can roam the bloated stacks of the Library of Alexandria, where all imagination and knowledge are assembled. We can recognize its destruction, but warning that all we gather will be lost. Boom. That great library that we built in the year 800. A lot of these guys like to give you bonuses for your shrines. So let's go ahead and maybe start getting in on some of that. If I don't have, like, very many horses and stuff within my borders, stables don't make sense, right? Like, I feel like stables are for, for cavalry units, units, while barracks are for, like, everything else. I'm going to say barracks for now. In democracy, oh, we got that cold. iron pretty close. We should probably start expanding that way. We should probably start making more cities. I rushed so many so quickly that I've kind of backed off on them. 
Ooh, we can make an Outback Steakhouse. Which, fuck, that sounds good. Shit, I haven't eaten yet today. I should do that. Don't freak out. I woke up super late, so not eating yet today is not as crazy as it sounds at 5.30 at night. Uh... I prefer the Grant Library, too. Plus three gold here. Don't mind if I do. Bring something to Congress? Oh, I could be mad about Hungary. No thanks. Like he's, you know, he's he's harassing China. Or I keep thinking this is China. It's Egypt. He's harassing Egypt. Uh, but whatever. I ain't scared. Ooh, and this will get us a lot of food, and then we'll be able to build a watt. Uh, hmm. I do not like the idea of our guy going up against a sword, dude. Yeah, that's bad news. All right, let's let's put some distance here. Oh no! Everything's bad. Why are there so many barbarians out here in the wildlands? Oh, it'd be great if these guys expand north and they start getting in fights with Hungary. Oh, that'd be awesome. All I want is for all my neighbors to be fighting each other and using me to fund their wars. Because I will totally do it. I, I will throw you guys weapons so long as you are using them on each other and not me. So just an additional trade route and more gold. Hell yeah. Send all your trade routes to my capital, friends. That's where all your bonuses will come from. Hobart getting me lots of a production bonus. What's... Any places that I'd really like to have roads to right now? What's Rock Cadet get me? A decent amount of gold and some food. Sure. Let's go. Oh. Swooping in with some religion over here, I see. No! Don't shoot! Blast. Build. Battle. Thanks. Ah, not a tornado. Survivor with the 300 bits. The tribute, the tribute to Civ leader. Grant the tribute specifically for Grant. Grant's tribute. Oh, hold on. I was supposed to be saying like that, like Patrick Warburton, wasn't I? I don't really have a good impression of him, so. Uh... Uh, the tribute, the tribute to Civ Leader Grant, the tribute specifically for Grant, Grant's tribute. You know, it's the Poison for Cusco bit, a classic. Man, Emperor's New Groove, such an underrated movie. Like, I feel like the internet has recently kind of recognized that it's still really good. But boy, what a good movie. I got some plus twos over there. I appreciate it, Survivor. Thanks for reminding me of a very good movie. I can smell one of my neighbors are cooking things. I should have eaten before streaming. 
but I wanted to do the stream before they went live with Monster Hunter in like half an hour. Oh no! We can take this. <gasps> what are we voting for? I hate this one because I feel like I don't like either option. Like, I don't want to give myself pretty much any of these. Because I don't give a shit about grievances. Hey, you know what? Uh, Cleopatra, I want to have a reason to be mad at you because you're my nearest neighbor. Yeah, it throws me off my groove. Thank you. You know what? Right now, I want I want to be in Khmer's good good graces. Buddhism, so strong. You can't go around arresting the thieves' guild. I mean, we'd be at it all day. All right, it says we'll win. I hope there isn't another unit right behind him. Hey, all right. Nothing nothing in our sights at least. Uber super sloth, I feel like once I start where where is it? It's the easy spot like cutoff spot for me in a civ game where I kind of stop having fun with it and I sort of just feel like I just get into motions and and I'm just kind of playing it just to play it instead of really enjoying it. Uh, is usually around when I can start building planes. That's normally my, like, ugh, okay. Like, I just don't... I don't think they've ever made planes fun in a Civ game. They they feel they feel more like busy work than, than fun stuff. Have I said Renaissance is where it is before? Planes are, are I feel like, are my, like, my hard stop. Usually it's when I start building airfields or when I'm like, all right, I don't think I'm coming back to this file. I've finished very few games of this despite having nearly 400 or 500 hours in it. There we go. I should up my science a bit more. This guy can probably move from here soon. We've started utilizing most of the woods, and uh, we should probably build more settlers, though, and that can be good. I love the game mode from Civ V, where it stopped in the Steam Age and you got airships instead of planes. Was that a thing? That sounds awesome. What? No, I don't give a shit. Let, let Hungary do all they want. They aren't bothering me yet. Although, mm, Abidos is my nearest neighbor. Them taking Abidos definitely gave them the power to talk to me. Oh, everyone else is in agreement with it. I don't want to fight him though, so you know what? Nah. I don't want to immediately step in and do a war. If he declares war on me, I get such a boost from it. I'd rather him start shit. In fact, that's... Man, I never thought about it that way. With Australia, you can be a bully and be rewarded for it. Because so long as I don't declare war, but if I am like, whatever, I'm going to build next to you. I'm going to steal your stuff. I don't care. Like... The only way they can retaliate is eventually bringing it to war, in which case I suddenly double production in every city. Australia is the character to play if you want to be a jerk, really. Despite it being like the, the sieve that upholds justice, it's really the one that you can get away with being the meanest. And that's pretty neat. Uh, which city is this for? It's for Hobart. You could... You know what? I feel like we're falling behind on science. I'm starting to think everyone else is doing better at that than we are. So let's start putting that together. Mm -hmm. 
mercenary, though. Hey, we just go wherever there's a mixture of money and trouble. They pick a lot of good quotes for this game. Oh, one of them found it. Man, it's right by... These guys not want villages or something? Or tr whatever they're called? Tribes? Few inventions have been so simple as the stirrup. But few have had so catalytic an influence on history. Let me learn about banks. What you do grants one promotion to a military land unit. Hey, that sounds all right. Uh, and why not make it to... Do I have anyone that's got two yet? No. Hey, I'll upgrade this guy. You know what? You're going to stay in this city, so you getting a boost from being in a defensive structure or in a city center will help. Uh, Dragon666, if you could pick a famous person to be the narrator slash quote reading person in Civ 7, who would you pick? I don't think he has the the gravitas of other voices, but I've always thought he had a good, like, dramatic, epic-y sounding voice. Would probably be Kelsey Grammer. I think I'd like to hear Sideshow Bob tell me all the stuff. Or Frasier, wherever, wherever your allegiance lies. Patrick Stewart. I think Patrick Stewart was in one. Was he four? Three or four? I feel like I heard people talk about him being in one of these. Yeah, if Christopher Lee was still with us, he'd be good. Which, uh... What's his name? Gandalf. Ian McKellen. He'd also be pretty good. Pest or Pex? We could have a road that goes all the way to the other side of the continent, basically. Like, look how long that road is. Going from Newcastle all the way. Ooh, Rupert Booth would be pretty good. Yeah. If I said animal husbandry, would it mean anything to you? I mean, then again, we could just get Newcastle to build faster, which might be what we really want. Just let it expand. We don't get much gold, but we're making decent money already. Grant said, n not knowing that the war coming soon would drain all of his resources. Let's get you guys happy. Let's build you an arena. And we've got lots of things that we could be upping our production with if we only had more builders. And hey, we've got the money for it. Let's have another trader. Actually, let's give that trader to you. Whoa. Okay, their, their capital still exists. I thought they had lost their capital for a second when I didn't see it as an option. If that's the case, then we've already got some trade routes established there. So let's... This gives us just more money. So, yeah. The 
Yes. Do you know much about social media? Yeah, just him asking how much we know about things every time he talks about them would be a fun, a fun Rupert Booth bit. That's the guy who played Jinx in a, or the or the chief in the FMV games. Me and Karen liked. Make our city stronger in case someone attacks us. And hey, lower our unit maintenance. Ooh, actually, you know what? We might. Mm -mm. We don't have the iron yet, so we won't be upgrading much stuff yet. So saving on unit upgrades. Not necessary yet. Wonder stop by and say I genuinely liked your playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake and look forward to seeing uh, more of it if when you post it on your own personal channel. Look for that. Uh, uh, I said earlier in the stream, next Monday is the latest I see it happening. But I will try to get it out earlier than I that. I saw a bank that said 24-hour banking. Also, I'm seeing I've they got like that much time. more than 10 notifications on Discord, and that's usually where work stuff happens. So I'm wondering if I'm missing anything important. I won't bother looking at it for another... Actually, you know what? No, let's just... Uh, Give me a second, real quick, just to make sure nothing's on fire and I'm not, like, getting fired or something. Uh, oh, okay. Not something I really have any insight on, so should be fine. Okay, yeah. There we go. Uh, I hope you guys can do more of those. I'm assuming that's in reference to the FMV games earlier. Yeah, those were fun. And I think... I think one's coming out real soon. That Trooper Booth said. I feel like I remember seeing him posting a bunch of social media stuff about it. Uh, we should assign another person. I'm going to point you in... Who do we think? You know what? Matthias is already acting really aggressive, so we should probably put this in Brisbane. I was going to say maybe Newcastle to protect from these guys, but they have been super peaceful this whole time. Hungary is already starting wars with Egypt. They're clearly they're clearly some, some tough boys. Oh yeah, the one lady I can put in city-states. I hardly ever do that. I should. Because I never really mess with city-state courting. Hey, yo, Hungary. You want to give me some open borders again? We've been friends. Like, you like me, right? Yeah, we're friendly. No grievances. What you want? Hell yeah. That's a deal I'm always happy to make. So I can bring my boys home. Might as well give these guys on the brink of religion a uh, holy zone. Yeah, Hungary is Hungary for war. in my path All rocks in my path oi 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 which one was this is this a new trade unit that I built is it's not repeating anything maybe it's not um Let's start 
maybe trying to fund Egypt a little bit. <coughs> Get them out of the weeds with Hungary. It's better for me to have two neighbors who are fighting each other than one neighbor who ate the other and then came after me. Hey, I haven't built a single boat, but I've got a great admiral. Because we know what we're doing here in Australia, clearly. Uh, could build the Colossus. More trade routes, which is what I've been kind of focusing on. Uh, can you have multiple games going in Civilization? Basically, asking because I have uh, words, worlds with friends, and I want to start my own. Uh, yeah, you can you can make your own. There's, you've always got, just I think like an infinite number of save slots based on how much space you have in your hard drive. Instantly creates a quadrine unit uh, plus twenty production towards units of naval range promotion class. Sure. And you guys just go ahead and explore. That's what I like having boats for. Amani, okay, so she's great for city-states. Who would I want? Let's appoint her to La Venta. So I know that these guys can never be too tight with them without my say-so. Ah, so the Scots are just right over here across the, across the old pond. Golden era, mother effers! All right, what are we doing here? Plus movement for builders and purchasing. Here's here's my favorite. I take this every golden age because I feel like it is almost impossible to outdo being able to buy civilian units with faith. Because now, now I have plenty of faith and I can just be like, hey, guess what? I want another settler. Uh, fucking boom. Now I got one. And I could be like, boy, uh, it sure would be nice to have some builders over here in Newcastle to bring this place up to snuff. Boom. Builder. Oh, man. Gee, I could really use another trade unit. Oh, Willikers. Oh, goodness. Bam. Got one. So broke. Oh, wait. Cleopatra's friends from Jerusalem. Not, not on my watch. Mm -hmm. Strategy requires thought. There you go. Egypt, I want you guys to survive, so I'll keep throwing you bones. Hey, that's basically where I was thinking of putting it, so it works out. Start building that out back. No religions have broken into city. I mean, I'm sure they have, and they've just been fighting over them, but... Giving us that faith so we can buy more units easily. Hey, you made it. Boom. Hey, he likes our faith output. Even though we have not been focusing it at all. Hey, you know what? You can have some horses. Oh no! I thought we had a dam for this reason. Oh, it wasn't done yet. Hmm. 
Outback seems like a pretty good like improvement to make. Food and production is like your main needs. Renaissance era. Wham. Rockhampton. Water mills always feel like the first thing I want to build in a city next to a river. Oh, I don't need the religious lens on. I really don't care. People can have the model T in any color, so long as it's black. T he, you get it? Uh, go ahead and just get rid of this. Ooh, we don't have amenities here. I don't have two harbors yet? That kind of surprises me. It's usually one of the first things I build when I have the option. I guess I don't have that many cities on the ocean. But that's something we can fix soon. I like how even if I build them in the 1300s, they're still considered ancient walls. Uh, yeah, let's let's keep this Egypt funding project going. Instantly builds a university and library in this district. Hold on. Do you just... You've got a library, right? Yes, you've got both of these, so I don't want to use you here. Uh, can I... Just go through the list on this? No. Uh, you're about to build a university. I think you just finished a university? Or maybe you just finished a library. No, you just finished a library. All right, you've got plenty of production, so you will get your university pretty fast. Did I build either building for you? I've not built a science hub yet. Okay, so it looks like the best place to use this guy would be here. So, wait, which one is this for? Is this for Sydney? No, this is Hobart. Newcastle could use it. To new I don't have we built a oh we have built a science place in Newcastle, haven't we? But it's already got a library. Uh, it's it's production output seems to be all right. Let's just go ahead and go this way. We've already started moving that direction. I don't see us finishing a hub in Rockhampton too soon. Not all who wander are lost. Thanks, Tolkien. Oh boy, what is this guy doing? He's taking over everything. But I don't want to start the fight. <laughs> Egypt, you are running ragged, my friends. Wish I could do something to help you, but I don't want to start a fight. The classic story. Oh, wait, what? Me and Jerusalem aren't tight enough anymore? <laughs> oh, no. He's like, hey, dude, we should really go to war with this guy. And I'm like, nah. Peace, my friend. We're pacifists here. Let him bring the war to me if it's so important. We don't need to help him. Ah! Ugh. 
Uh, do we have any cities that we could just start giving? No. Okay. What's your favorite game you uh, you are playing during the quarantine? Probably Animal Crossing. Definitely put a ton of time into that. It's just my relaxing go-to. Uh, other high-ranking ones would be Risk of Rain 2. And probably this. I've definitely played a few... I never finish things, but played a handful of, started a handful of campaigns on this. Ah! Oh wait, that's their cities. That's their cities. That's their titties. In a market so it's fine. However. Oops. Ah. <laughs> The way things are going, we might need to start a fight. So we should get this production up. Plus four. Don't mind if I do. Jerusalem, baby. Come back to me. Memphis! I can't believe Tennessee is in Egypt. I never knew. More recon strength. Give me more great scientist. Done. I did not vote with the crowd on any of them. But my ranged units are stronger now, I guess. Such a fun track. Happy war music, Memphis gonna die. <laughs> roads were set up a colossus of 70 cubits high. It's music. The, sun. the planets? The artist expended as much bronze in it as seemed likely no, to create quite. a dearth in the mines. Behold the great colossus of, e of uh, Australia. Later, Tastus. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you have a good day at work. And thanks for the sub, even if Twitch isn't telling me about it. I appreciate it. Plus six, yeah. What about it? I feel like Brisbane still maybe our weakest state when it comes to production, so let's go ahead and fix that. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -boop -a -doop. Yeah, that Colossus was a statue of me! It's obviously a statue for the great X-Men character, you guys. I hate when my cities are split up. I want us to be a united... the uh, borders. Oh yeah, I forgot I have, I have this brand new city. That's probably currently our weakest city. <laughs> Maybe that's the one I should have thrown some guys in. Oh well. We're here now. Boy, that's a lot of units over here. We can get two production. One, 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 two, 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 three from Hobart and Canberra. And that gets us more food so we grow faster. So let's do that. Even though we're already just about 10 people big. Can't hit 
it from here. And I don't really have a lot to explore in this direction. Come around here, but it looks like it's just barbarians to the north. Can I... Can my land units embark yet? Because that seems like something we should be doing. Let's see. Alright, you know what? Hey. Robert. Robbie boy. Oh, I've already got open borders with you. Hell yeah. Let's bring you... I don't like the idea of navigating those barbarian highways. But hey, let's come over here. And uh, you know what? Let's see if you guys are our friends. Uh, and how would you... What would it take for this? 15 gold? Hey, a pittance, my friends. We're men of art here. We don't look to the past, only the future. They've made a new town in Praia. Where is that? Oh. The pen might not be mightier than the sword, but maybe the printing press is heavier than the siege weapon. Just a few words can change. It's fair. I want the surrounding tiles around my city to have plenty of space to be districts. Because I'm pretty sure they get a bonus when they're adjacent to your city center. Well. Not the not the tile I cleared, but whatever. Memphis! You have to live! If they take you, then I might actually start feeling like I should step in, because you'll be down to like two cities at that point, and they'll be surrounding all of mine. Building the old outback. Beak. Ha <laughs> ha. You guys are having rough luck. Her. We got the faith to spend. Boop. Boop. You can just turn all these into farms. Really start growing Hobart. My hair has gotten way too long for me. I, I do not like it this length. I am inches away from trying to cut it myself, but I think that will turn out terribly. So, you know, no promises. But uh, if things keep going the way they have been, entirely possible. And I assure you, you will all be disappointed with the results. What you do? Gain an envoy, sure. I didn't... I need to build encampments more in my other games. I didn't realize that you would still get great generals even if you weren't at war. I thought those... I thought that only generated points when you were actively fighting something. Love your haggis. Boom. A common mistake that people make when trying to design. All right, I think this is gonna be my last turn. It's six o'clock. I'm pretty sure that means the monster hunter thing has started. Let me take a look, see, just to be sure. Oh, 
Also, yo, thank you. Uh, I don't think I saw this earlier, but Ryan, thank you for the donation earlier on PayPal. My phone apparently got the update, but I didn't unhear. But thank you. Very much appreciated. Uh, uh, I don't know why I'm looking at my phone instead of the computational device I have sitting in front of me. But hey, you know. Uh, I'm not seeing them, so maybe, maybe they're running a little behind. But that should be starting soon. Oh, they start around 6.30 because Steam server maintenance. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, we'll be going for a little bit longer. Uh, woo, do, 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 do. It's that song again, but more epic. Yes, more Outbacks. Uh, 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 you're good for, like, new cities. Oh, we lost the one that's like, hey, you automatically do good against barbarians, because now it's like, you just do good against people you're more technologically advanced than. Oh, no, we still have that one. What was this one? This was the defensive. This was our cities get stronger. Which I guess we just don't get an equivalent for in this era. Well, then, hey. Garrison units just make us feel better. I miss playing in like a like a school band. Hearing trumpets and stuff always brings back concert band memories. Whoa, why am I getting Oh, is this my scout being attacked by barbarians? Yes it is. Let's get out of here, buddy. You guys need to clean up your borders. You've got some riffraff you got to take care of. Eureka. Hephaestus makes a great and massive shield. <laughs> Hobart's gonna be so productive. That was a volcano at one point? Yeah, we do not. We do not hurt them enough, so no thanks. Dr. Gabir Bobby with the Prime sub, thank you. Uh, and Divine Dragon with their sub, uh, gifting a sub to Rensler. So welcome both of you, Doctor and Rensler. Thanks for hanging out. And thank you, Divine Dragon, for gifting. Miss Generous. Uh, New Castle, I want you to start giving me more culture. I never build the government building, like, place, or whatever it is. Yeah, government plaza. I know that gives you, like, boosts to these guys, I'm pretty sure, and would probably be pretty OP if I knew what I was doing. But I just never do it. can't believe I've only found three city-states and they're all religious. Again, on the game where I, from the outset, said I don't think I'm doing religion. Government building is really good, especially since one of them allows you to buy ground troops with faith. That does sound pretty good. I just talked about how good that was for getting civilian units. Which, okay, you know what? I guess I don't really think about that. Because even if I don't go for religion, faith is still a very useful resource. Because of a lot of other things. A lot of stuff lets you use it. So, I should think about that more often. But I'm usually gunning for a religion. So, it's like, all my faith just goes to that. It's not an adequate pipe. It was an aqueduct pipe. I already built some here. No. So, go ahead. 
Do we heal before heading to new lands? There might be enemy boats in the water. We have no idea. Forget it. Let's go. Take that risk. No, we will not. Matthias will have to declare war on me for me to do anything about him. Whoa! Chandragupta. I feel like I've played as this guy before, and I think he's real good, too. I think he's... No, I think I might be getting him mixed up with Persia. Persia has, like, really good trade route stuff, right? Because that's something I also kind of just instinctively do, no matter what Civ I am. I always have a lot of trade routes running if I can. Uh, thanks, Divine Dragon, for gifting another sub to uh, Private Sergeant. Welcome aboard, Private Sergeant. And Divine Dragon, once again, thanks a bunch. And yo, Kristen, sup, and it's webcam, man. Yeah, that's me. I decided I didn't care how gross I looked in this uh, quarantine hellscape. You all could see me. Let's get some roads out this way. And some roads that way. I feel like it's dangerous to send trade routes to Egypt right now since they're in the middle of a war. Oh shit, and it's a hype train. Choo choo, motherfucker, indeed. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 no, we don't have a trade route in Jerusalem yet, so let's go. All right, we'll heal here in Robert the Bruce's backyard. He'll keep us safe. He doesn't let any of those gross barbarians in his walls. Should we just start generating more faith so we can buy shit with it? I take that as a yes from you folks. Best boy, Manetta! Well, it's been a year. Thank you very much for the year subbed. Very appreciated. And Tacitus has received a... Wow, you guys are being so generous. Uh, Impul, gift and subs. Uh, gifting a sub to Great Dane 555 and Divine Dragon, gifting to Tacitus. Wowie wowie. Wowie zowie. And here I thought Civ would be a low energy, no one interacting stream. But here we are. I have a very giving channel. Thank you very much, Professor Carmine, for, for noticing. Let's get bigger boats. And recruit a writer. Tell them. Tell them my story. Please, tell them my story when you write drinking alone. Alone with my drink. I pour for myself. No companion to join me. I raise my glass and toast the full moon. Who shall, with my shadow, make us three? Damn. Sounds like a good book. Yo! Uh, Impul also gifting to Axel, Zacky, uh, and Divine Dragon throwing it to Krusty Stars. Thank you guys so much. Feel the love. It's great. Uh... Best boy Mineta saying, this is why you become friends with a man named Grant. I, I appreciate it. Oh yeah, we've got iron now. I should probably start upgrading these guys. And then we'll probably have start generating gunpowder. And then we could turn those sword guys into gun guys. And then if friggin' what's his nuts Hungary wants to come step on our doors, we'll be ready for him with blunder boosts. I fan myself in this most languid heat. The forest invites one to lay all bare. I hang my hood upon a rocky crag. My head exposed, I bathe in fragrant air. Okay, that sounds at least a little happier than the I'm drinking by myself in the moon in my shadow. Frankenstein's Gate! 
throwing them gift subs out there with Worldwide Wimpy, Spees23, Master Dark 9999, nine, four of them there, Fred Junk, and Armed Whooper. Whoopers don't have arms. That's like the first thing on their design doc. No arms. But thank you guys. Uh, thank you, Frank, in particular, for gifting all those subs. And welcome, everybody, who's become part of the crew. One of the Wug Thugs, if you will. I haven't used that term in a while. Ooh. All right, you go ahead and heal. This music's getting so exciting. Ah. Uh, I kind of like the setup we have right now, but two wild cards seems pretty nice. Well, that. What was the other one I had? Settlers and. Is it faith and money in every turn? Well, hey, we have a lot of trade routes, so we'll benefit from this. We're not really building settlers anymore, so we don't need this. Uh, 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 what do we got? Reduction towards wonders wouldn't be that bad. Impole with another gifted sub to Professor Carmine. Welcome, Professor. Established governors, at least two promotions provide amenities. We don't have that many of those. We could reduce tile pie and costs. That's not bad. Thanks, Honey Bazaar, for the bits, and this should happen more often. I, I, I hope, hopefully I can. My, my schedule's starting to kind of become, like predictable before it was sort of we were all kind of jumping in wherever we could but now we're kind of establishing a, a regular schedule so i should be able to pick, predict when i can stream more often uh you know what i like having builders and giving them more build actions sounds good now for our wild card things that can be anything we're getting a lot of trade routes so hey you know what i'll take it and We could... We haven't gotten any great artists yet, so let's start working on that. Oh, and Best Boy Mineta gifting Kieran a sub. I don't think Kieran's presently here, but if he is, I hope you're watching, buddy, and enjoying. Good luck with Monster Hunter later. And Divine Dragon gifted so many... You guys are just... Now you guys are just being nice so you hear me read your names. And hey, I'm here for it. Uh, Professor Carmine gifting subs. Uh, and paying forward that gifted sub to Naysayer9. Divine Dragon throwing subs at uh, Lord Owl. Trey... Trey... Lack. Trey... Lack? Trey... Lack. Trey... Lack. Monkey Dick Goofy. Uh, Lord Reaper 819. And... Quiet reflection. Peak hype train indeed. Thank you, folks. Level five. Keep that thing going until the clock runs out, which is three minutes. So I guess I don't I don't really know what this hype train mechanic is here in Twitch, but it seems cool and it seems like you guys are liking it. So uh, thanks. Sub hype indeed. Thank you, Ge uh, Geo Emperor. We get trade centers. We gain gold for each specialty district in uh, at the destination. Then, bam. Hey, we finally met a city-state that isn't religious. Come on over. Bloody whaties. Impole gifting a sub to Artista and Flamary subbing. Saying I didn't want to be gifted a sub, so I sub preemptively. There you go. Help take take hold of your own destiny and drive it drive it on your own. I know how to say inspiring things. Thanks so much for the sub though. Only together can we defeat uh Hungary and Egypt and maybe the Khmers. Ooh, they've established Islam in here. We can get its other building and gain it. I 
It's not the towering sails, but the unseen wind that moves a ship. Hmm. A little poetic there. Okay. This has a lot of stuff, and we have not established a thing in it, so let's do that. Look, if we seem like we're an invaluable resource to Hungary, they won't try and kill us, right? Only makes sense to me. Uh, okay. I feel like there was something I definitely wanted to get here, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got Islam in here. So we can buy... Oh, do we not have a... Oh, we're still building our holy site, so we can't get it yet. Go ahead. Thanks, Divine Dragon, for giving Geo Emperor a sub. Giving 10 subs! Holy cow. So much. Remember that politics, colonialism, imperialism, and war also originated in the human brain. Fair enough. Built that workshop. More city-states. Boat's doing everything it can to see the rest of the world. Uh-oh. What? What? What are you talking about? I've been nothing but nice to you. Well, all right. Here, uh, here we go. Wow, what a way to end this stream. Having war declared on us. Shit, Newcastle is not ready for a fight. Uh-oh. Uh... No, you guys can deal with your own fight. Because I suddenly have one on my own door, or my own backyard. You know what I mean. What, is he mad that we took Laventa from him? Like, is he actually declaring war on Laventa? But because we're so tight with them, that means he's at war with us. Choo-choo, motherfucker. The hype train come a-swinging. All right, we're going to want more production. So let's focus on trade routes that will get us that. What do you do? That sounds pretty good. Although loyalty isn't really an issue right now. We can get warrior monks. Alright, let's just start sending some fighters this way. Start moving our unit's hand. Oh, we need more niter. Which is that in our city at all? Is that something we're building, like gaining naturally? I don't think so. That's something we're only getting from friends, I guess. But hey, that's fine. We can still send more. What do you require? Horses with combat power of 44 versus a knight which has 48 more. So. No, I just want to turn him into a sword man, not a gun man. I know I don't have enough niter for him to become a gun man, but that's fine. I don't need it.
sending their elephants to get us. Did that. I feel like I didn't see that do any damage. There we go. Laventa, help me! Hungary just declared war on Egypt? Did they, like, make peace for all of 20 seconds? Well, I guess we can send these guys up here to die. We are not gaining very much niter per turn, and it takes, like, 13 for them to... I'm just trying to establish trade stations in as many places as I can. That elephant sounded so upset. I mean, I guess it was being shot to death with arrows, but... Ah! I'm really scared to have this guy leave to try and shoot him. Oh, maybe I spent his turn. Never mind. Clean up this town a little bit, make it a little easier to produce stuff. This way. Oh man, Divine Dragon, you just ate a giant bowl of spaghetti and garlic bread. That sounds real good. What should I get for dinner? Like, I'm thinking of slumming it and just getting fast food, but there's like... There's some decent places that deliver out here. Or I could... Actually, no, nah, that's too late. I wouldn't want to try and make something. Because anything I would make would be something... At this point, I would make quickly, and it would not turn out that great. Like, it'd be edible, it'd be fine, but... I kind of feel like eating something nice since I haven't eaten today. The best neighbors are distant ones right now. You are India's best neighbor. I don't know what that means, but okay. How many times have I beaten this game? I think I've gotten... I think I've gotten each victory condition at least once. I know I've done a religious victory. I know I've done a domination victory. I know I've done a science victory. I might not have done a culture victory or a diplomatic victory. I think I might have skipped those two because those seemed more complicated than the others. Chandra Gupta's hidden policy is he likes civs who settle far away from him. Got it. Yo, don't let Memphis fall to madness, you guys. Because that'll just be annoying for me. Then I'll take them. That's right. I was thinking, like, man, it seems like everything's producing so much faster. That's right. The whole thing we have is if someone declares war on us, we get double production for a few turns. So we should take advantage of this while we have it. Which, to me, says prioritize stuff you can't buy. It's a farm. We'd be losing a lot of food, but we'd be gaining at least three production. Which does seem alright. So yeah, I think we're going to do that. You can look at the past, Newcastle. It's the irony of your name.
What do you do? What do you think? What time is it? It's just about 6:30. They're supposedly going to be starting soon. Do we try to get Yosa de Pura within our borders? Do we take this city out to to prove you don't you don't start fights with Australia? I think that's what we're going to do. Even if it might be leading us to our demise. Uh, I don't feel like changing my thing. I think we're good. Who's that for this? Jerusalem? What? Oh, wow. Didn't realize how many people Jay had over there. All right, yeah, let's get them back on our side. We're gonna hang out here. Go anywhere else with him. You stay here. Oof! That looks like a pretty good hit. Oh, but we can promote and we can make ourselves resistant to ranged attacks so that stops being such a threat. What do you want? We should fund their defense. Okay, that's something I'm alright with. I didn't want to start a war, but I will give them aid. Gondor calls for aid! defense. Get a bunch of meat shields up there soon, just to eat hits for a little bit. Horse guys will be there to deal with any units they send out that aren't spearmen. Uh, we're building this bombard. It's the only siege we can afford right now. I guess Newcastle probably should have been building units, not a museum, but they'll be finishing that soon. have enough niter to turn one of these guys into gunmen soon. That'll be nice. Start building some trebuchets. Catapults, I guess. Uh, and you should probably be Catapults too. You can build me a sword man. And you can also build a sword man. decimate him, so you just hang out here being an annoyance for now. You don't seem to mind fighting a city too much, though. <laughs> ah. They decided to...
I'm gonna try and clear out these marshes so we can get units moving through them faster. Do, 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 do. Long. What? Requires 13, I have zero? Did I upgrade someone without knowing it? Did the building the one bombard spend it all? Is that what happened? I guess you can make uh da, 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 da. seems to have the most melee strength so a pike and shot actually hold on. I shouldn't build a war here there that's silly or a Whatchamacallit, Builder. Oh. Can you guys not go further than that? Because this dumbass can't move? Got it. Oh, neither of these dumbasses can move. I see. Here we go. This will be what wins the war. We brought them fire. Two technologies and reveals where oil is. Don't mind if I do. you fight anyone but I don't want these guys running in to kill them so you will be a blocker for the archers ouchies Whoa, whoa, whoa. Memphis has turned. This is bad. Where'd you come from? I still want to get shot. Switch places with you. You go ahead and start firing. You go ahead and heal. You're still healing. You go ahead and build that. You can come on up here. We'll just flood them with units, even if they're not particularly strong or really doing much. Uh, how far ahead can you go? Because really, we just want bodies up there distracting them from you. You're running out of housing, so we can put that here. Oh, 
already gunning for my archers, are we? Yeah, Leventa, you keep it up. Together we will be strong enough to stop this oppressive menace. We'll take this city and then we'll call it a night. Uh... What do I have a lot of? I feel like I've seen... I have... Spices, right? I have a lot of spices. So yeah, what if more of that gave me more good? Give me more merchants. Give me more money. I can use that in peace times and war times. Yeah. Yeah. Everything worked out. It's one thing to surmise what happened. A diplomat yep. is a man. Uh huh. You probably need Niter to upgrade, right? No. Just Moolah will do. Here, you uh, you go to the front lines. Real David and Bathsheba moment. You guys just hang out here and eat some hits for a little bit. Let these guys, let these guys feel pressure. I was convinced that before this day was done, we'd be going to war with Hungary, but it turns out it was really the Khmers I had to keep an eye out for. We'll get there soon, don't you worry. Divine Dragon, thank you for gifting a sub to Dark Phantom 35. See, it's like this whole base, we, we sent a bunch of crossbows at this guy to get his eyes off the cannon we were bringing. That's fine. Go ahead and kill that unit. He is just there to distract you. Do whatever you must to him. That's right, I almost forgot about you. Yeah! Not quite close enough. Damn it, we're gonna get shot at from here, though. Three turns, I'll be golden for the next age, too. So, yeah, looking good on that front. Could just get rid of this unit. Or we could keep whittling away at the defenses of this place. You know what? That's gonna be that's gonna be the other guy's move. It'll be too tempting to not kill this guy. They'll have to fire on him. They just have to. Lumber. Mm. Just think so I have the melee damage. Ooh, but you're a ship with ranged strength. That'll be good. 
Start building spies. I never, I never do shit with spies. I feel like that's another angle of this game that I completely ignore that would be really helpful. What do these guys do? I don't know if I ever really use these either. Can I use these to make my roads better? So like we travel faster? Cause that would be pretty cool. Coastline bombards are nice. Spies can uh, make, make or break close wars. Well, I wouldn't call this war exactly close right now. Cause I think really like I don't I what I think is neither of us are really giving it our full effort. <gasps> These guys are about to become Australians. Hell yeah. Let's go in and uh maybe establish order around here. These guys saw how great the their neighboring kangaroos were living and decided they had to get a piece of that themselves. And yo, no one blames them. Get another bombard going. Give you plenty of food. Ooh, looks like you guys have cannons too. All right, cool. None of them fired on the bombard. That's what we were worried about. All they did was kill units that really did not have a lot of value to us. Oh, he all of a sudden he wants to make peace, huh? No deal. First you're giving me Yasudapathapathar, and we're renaming it. Sure. Uh, Divine Dragon, I played through... I did all of the Yellow Deer, and I think I got about halfway into the Black Eagles and like two chapters into Blue Lions. I, I streamed what little of the Blue Lions playthrough I've done. I might get back to that someday. It's a fun game. Yeah, just giving him keep giving him near dead stuff to look at instead of the targets that are actually dealing damage. We've got that musket man who's gonna make his way down here and that's gonna cause some problems. I really wish I could upgrade my regular ass warriors into sword guys. I did not realize that wouldn't be available to me. I guess on the other hand, it would be a lot more annoying if you had to upgrade them through each upgrade. Uh, but hey, if it's not available, it should let me take like the next best thing. Ooh, and their city doesn't like them. Oh, or it says under siege just mean that's happening. Never mind. Misread the iconography. No, my Corsair or whatever that guy was. Ooh. All right, we're eating some big hits, but it's okay. Finally, they start shooting the, the real danger. No, I need that niter. However beautiful the strut. All right, let's see what we get with a little bit of this. Not as much damage on the walls as I was hoping. Not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. 
There's nowhere for this unit to move to be able to do anything of use. Man, I was hoping that would be the turn we'd get it. What do you think now? I actually forgot that was even a mechanic. Not gonna lie. I would nuke him if I had a means to. But I don't really have anything that does anything like that. Breakfast for dinner is all right. I feel like my first move is always to set up counter spying in my capital. I have no idea if that's actually a good play at all. Like, I feel like I never use spies offensively. I basically only build them to defend myself from other spies. <laughs> I have this fucking caveman who's been fighting for me since the day our civilization started. And then he's just getting gunned down by a bunch of musket men. That's got to be quite the destiny to have lived. Industrial era, baby. I ain't scared. We got two golden, golden eras. All we got to do is just get it low enough that our sword guy can come in there and claim it. Whatever. Go ahead and die, warrior. Or be the one who takes the city! Ah, oh, damn. So close. We almost had a caveman conquer the city. But fine. We'll go in with our sword, man. Hey. Wow. Catapults do not hurt that guy at all. Considering there's an achievement for using a, a Roman legion to clean up nuclear fallout, Clubman versus Musket isn't the weirdest. Huh. Don't think I even knew that would be a thing. But I guess that makes sense. Uh, Alright, who is this Musket Man going to go after? Probably you. You're likely the highest priority target, but he could probably possibly... Probably thinks he could kill my this guy until I upgrade him. Right, again, uh, this always seems like the best one. Oh wait, hold on, it's different now. Oh, never mind. Wait, the one I like is gone. Oh, okay, that's right, it changed. Maybe I just can't get the same dedication two things in a row. Uh, plus three movement for no uh. Plus two movement for naval, plus two loyalty for cities, not on my capital, or my capital continent. I don't think we've really stretched to new continents. How about my trade routes can't be plundered and I get three extra gold? Do that for now. And let's take this city. Go ahead and counter spy here in the city center. Commercial district or adjacent adjacent district would be best. Well, I think I think the city center is adjacent to our commercial. Yeah. So yeah, so they're defending it. Well, okay, we took that city. I think this is gonna be our last turn. So let's move all the units we can, and then uh, then I'll call it. Also, you know what? We 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 took their city from them. Let's let's make peace. You know what? They're just gonna they're just gonna hand it over. Uh, I think you guys have too much niter. Also, 
Ooh, they don't want me to take that from them, huh? All right, fine. Uh, well, how about some pearls? Okay, not against that. I like that. Would you give me any other cities? No. Okay. And take that. All right. We'll take some pearls and, uh, hey, you know what? You've got some gold. And 10 gold a turn for 30 turns. Boom. That's why I like playing Rome so much. Being able to make forts in the classic era is nice. And the Legion unit is good for the next several eras. That's cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Here, and we can establish an embassy. Oh, you don't want it? Alright, sore loser. I see. Uh, okay. Now that we're kind of done dealing with them for now, you'd probably be better served in Brisbane. All right, and it looks like that's gonna be everything for this stream. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Let's see if, uh, if the boys are online yet. Ooh, 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 Yes, they are. Okay, cool. Thanks so much for coming and joining. Uh, sorry I haven't been streaming a lot on my own channel, but now that now that time's starting to work out for me a little bit better, I've been able to figure out possibly being able to more regularly stream. It would probably be more either afternoon or nighttime stuff. I'm not much of a morning guy. Uh, but anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to send you over to Stream 4 Star now, where you can see them playing some monster hunter and by them i believe i mean zito tyler kieran and bracky but thank you so much for hanging out it's been a fun civ stream i don't know if i'll stream exactly this file again but I just want to stream more often for you guys and uh if you're looking forward to more final fantasy 7 that should be coming uh monday is the latest that i'm gonna give myself it'll definitely be happening by then but if I can get my ass in gear, we might actually get them up in like Thursday or Friday. But anyways, see ya. Thanks for hanging out. This has been Grant. Catch me. Twitch.tv. You're already here. Twitter. At Master Wuggles. YouTube.com slash Master WGS. All those work. Anyways, bye for now. See ya. Have a good night. Thanks everybody who subbed and gifted subs and donated and stuff. Thanks. You're all great. I love all of you. Bye.